Welcome to the channel. I went charity shopping yesterday, but I didn't film. However, we're still going to go through what I picked up because to me, it's an exciting adventure because it's yesterday and I forgot what it was. So to me, it's going to be just as much as a surprise as it is to you. I can remember one thing, a pair of shorts. That's it. And I spent like 40 quid. And in a charity shop, 40 quid's quite a lot. Although not these days, let's face it. But as always, we're going to run through some sales first. So firstly, I want to give a big shout out to Tom Williams. He spotted this in the background of one of my videos and said, I want it. In a lot more words than that, but he's going to send this off to his auntie, I believe. He said, sorry, bro, if I forgot. Sorry. Either way, he's buying it. I told him there's no way I'm checking this out. That's why I haven't listed it yet. It does have, it's in really good condition. Like All the bags are separated, little posters and whatever else in there. So the chances are it most likely is, but I couldn't be bothered. I said £10 all in and it's yours. And bear in mind, I use every, not Royal Mail, so I don't care, I'm not whinging about it. But that's going to cost me about four fifty five quid to post because of the, the weight. Here's what it is. I think I paid £4 from a charity shop. I'll make about a pound on top. But it saves me a job. I don't know what I bought it for. I knew full well I wasn't going to check it. But sometimes I've bought these and they've been sealed inside. Tom, appreciate you, brother. We'll get rid of Vinted first. Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirtle. Oh, some of you might, you can hear you, you can see it in its full form now. How beautiful is that? Oh, I absolutely love it. Teenage Mutant Tina Turtles, Teenage Mutant Massive Squirtle. This is sold to Charlotte at Fur and Fangs. Charlotte, I massively appreciate you. I listed this up for Connor Welsh Pokey Picky, wanted to buy it. So I listed it, sent in the link, and unfortunately, it was too slow. You snooze, you lose, Connor. I appreciate you, Charlotte. This big boy will be on its way to you shortly. I kind of wish I had to, oh, I don't know what I, I, keep, I always say I'm going to keep stuff, but I know full well, I just can't. It's time to go into your new home. Let's put you up there for a minute. Oh yeah. The amount of coffees I've let go cold in my time is sacrilege. I'm wearing the fox hat as well. I don't think I like it, guys. So whoever it was that reached out and wanted it, you're probably going to get it. can't remember who you was. If you're watching this video now, then, oh, and also, I'm going to draw the winner for that giveaway soon as well, so... Stay tuned. Sold a silk Christian Dior tie on Vintage for a fiver, but I'm going to chuck in a second one as well. It has a little bit of wear on the edge just there. I'm not going to tell them. I'm just going to pop it in there. Just, you know, see if they're going to make use for it or not. Five pound. And that is all for Vinted. Moving over to eBay relatively swiftly. First up from Shell and Dan. They have picked up the little model railway people figures, things, like little tiny little people that has sold for. £14 all in. I do believe the father or the father-in-law is going to be getting these. Not too sure. Massively appreciate you both though. Chell and Dan, shout out. I love you both. This was bought for £11.50 and then cancelled, then sold again for £12 all in. Bop it Extreme 2. Fully tested. There's even a video of me absolutely failing it on eBay. Paid £2 for this Bob Ross paint set. It has sold for £42.70. When you know, you know. Just go where you got. Sometimes it's always worth the pop. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I just saw Bob Ross paint unused. Two quid. I'll buy it. £18.99 is this Transformers. What is it called again? War for Cybertron Siege something something. £18.99. Part of that £4 deal that I paid for all of those Transformers that time. Did much better than I thought I was going to. Paid £3 at the weekend with the Lego, which is already sold for £30. I paid £3 for that as well. This is sold for £12 all in. Just packing now, so I want to interject also a big thank you to Ronnie for picking this up. When I was packing, I remembered he actually sent me a message. Guys, if you want to have a mention, not saying that you all buy things to get a mention, but if you do, please leave me a eBay note. It's the only way I'm going to actually fully remember that you've spoke to me and you purchased this and you are supporting the channel with the purchase. Otherwise... You're just buying it because you want it. And I understand that as well. But if you are purchasing because you enjoy the channel and you want to support it, leave me a note because I really want to give you a thank you back. So massively appreciate it, Ronnie. On its way to you today at some point. Little by little, the profit mounts up and gets... Can't think of anything else at rhymes. £20 all in is this Stanley number four wood plane. Bailey Stanley. Stanley Bailey. I think that's how they use lots of, lots, lots of lay around. It's a nice little piece put in there that just need a little bit of tlc but it's not the worst condition you've ever seen i've sold much worse condition ones than that in fact i've got one coming up 20 pound all in 21 pound and 78 pence all each is this number three in terrible condition 
actually to be fair that's not even the worst condition i've sold with him before either so these things do sell in fact i'm going to tighten that handle while i'm here because it's a little bit loose all i've done is bent my fucking thing yeah number three that one 21 pound 70 something and for six pounds and 44 pence is one of the last led drivers made an absolute bank on these haven't we and i think that's all the sales instagram done vinted done and ebay done unless i'm missing an instagram why do i feel like i am hi ricky did you check the stussy eight ball rug in your recent video yeah mate it's not stussy just an eight ball cheers daniel people think i'm silly though listen when i'm filming a car boot sale video i'm not gonna leave images of me checking things or showing stuff that i either don't pick up or it doesn't have any interaction with so if you see it in a video it's something decent or it looks decent to you bear in mind i can see it up close or i can see exactly the condition of things you can't so when you're zoomed far back and pixelated you might see me walk past a la crusade dish but it's because i'm this far away from it and i've got clear vision and i can see it's got a big crack going through the middle of it you probably can't see that crack on there for example so the eight ball rug thing, I had a look at it. It wasn't made by Stussy, it was just an eight ball. Cool, but just an eight ball. And it was replied straight away. Thank God I can sleep now, I did presume. There you go. Um, let me just give him a little reaction on there. So yeah, he said he presumed, but that's what I'll do. I'm not gonna waste your time with junk clips as much as I can anyway. Sometimes some things that I think are good, you might think are junk, but my point is, if I consider it or conceive it to be junk, like just quickly checking under a rug, just to prove that I've actually looked at it, I'm not gonna do it. It's boring. I'd rather you think that I just miss everything. So that's all the sales, I think. Oh, I sold some on Marketplace yesterday, some clock thing, 90 quid. I'll try and remember to put a screenshot up here. Actually, I think I've deleted the listing and the photos. So that's annoying. I sold a clock for 90 quid. Let's draw the winner for those, what was it? The Pokemon thing and the... Can't remember. Let me look in the box. Ah, uh, yeah, the Stormtrooper Lego and the Pokemon pack. Let's go draw it. I pretty much just ended the video then, forgetting that I was going to do the charity shop haul thing. Didn't I? So I'll find a way to make this like a seamless connection. We've also just had another sale as well on Vinted. So before we do anything, let me just get into that. I noticed there was a message, so I'd like to read that out as well. And it was for, what was it for? Slow ass. Slow. Ah, Funko, Big Mouth Andrew. So that has sold to, is it Kira? Kieran. Kieran has bought Funko Pop, Big Mouth Andrew. Forget where they are now. Here it is. Now, I don't know if you're a follower of the channel or not, but he says, cannot wait for my order. Thank you. So $7.99, another Funko has gone. We're well into profit now on the deal. Well into profit. Took a bit of work though. And also, before I forget, Joe, thank you ever so much, my darling. I appreciate it. The Magpie's Nest. She picked up the Bob Ross t-shirt for her husband. I know a lot of you was asking for it, but Joe got there first. Paid £2 or £3. Can't remember now. Sold it for, I let Joe have it for 10 quid. I know I could have got a bit more for it online, but it's Joe. It's the community, and I appreciate it. She actually came here to collect it as well. And I've been to other resellers' workspaces that had YouTube channels, and I've walked in and been like, oh, doesn't it look different? Small Normally, it always looks smaller. So when she arrived, I was watching her face, and I went... Looks smaller, doesn't it? Even smaller. <laughs> but it works for me. Anyway, let's get into this charity shop haul. I, I actually forgot what's in it. I said before, it's a pair of shorts. I know there's a pair of shorts in there. The rest of it, I was just buying stuff. And I need to research it while I'm here as well to see what it's worth. Let's get into it. I might actually just lucky dip it out of the bag. Let's do that. £1.25 I paid for each of these. Only because I think, now I could be wrong... I could be wrong, but I think something was telling me that these are the Barbie ones, like the actual Barbie ones. What the actual Barbie? So I paid £1.25 each for those. Not too sure on the value, but if they are the Barbie, they're going to be worth more than that, especially with their saddles and stuff. I can't find a maker's mark on there just yet, but I will if I look, I'm sure. I'll Google lens that. But yeah, £1.25 each, £2.50 punt. Don't mind that. Pretty sure they're Barbie, I think. What's this? 50p? 
Oh yeah, 1983, Applause. Applause is a very good brand. They normally, well, they went on to make like the Crash Bandicoot stuff and all them kinds of plushes, the video game plushes, which command quite a bit of money. Even the vintage standard animals by Applause can command a bit of dosh. Paid 50p for that. Probably going to list it for about 15 quid. Only because I've seen some standard dogs and cats and whatever are selling for like 12 to 15 to 18 pounds, so... 12 to 15 to 18. <laughs> Come on. What am I talking about? Look at Lucky Dip. BT Digital Baby Monitor 300. How much did I pay for that? Eight pound. Oh my goodness. There must be a reason for that. Pull the stickers off while I'm going if I can. Eight pound. Why have I paid eight pound? Must be worth 25. Has to be. BT Baby 300. Pre-owned. 1377 pre-owned 226 I think I might have messed up there hey, hello darling hey, we see you here. Next time, okay, and next time I'm going to be Q-R-S-T-V-B W-X-R-Y-M-R ABC's next time make me sing with me come here darling well done baby you come in you just whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what's your toes this is what I'm saying this is why I say you can't come in here look that almost fell on your feet Look, it's okay, baby. Come here. Well done on your alphabets. Go back in the house then so I can save this from collapsing. Thank you. How am I going to do this? Oh, fuck. But what these kids don't understand is it's actually dangerous in here for them while I'm trying to work because they just things fall over like that. You can't see it there, but. Tom's puzzle just fell down onto a speaker. The speaker fell off, falling, making the Stanley blade thing fall off, the Stanley wood plane, next to her foot. It could have been the speaker or the plane on her foot. I love her coming in and stuff, but I can't concentrate and keep her safe at the same time. I need to be not working if she's in here, which is the reason why I'm in here, is to work. Right, what else have we got? Oh yeah, these, one pound, one pound for these. I've no idea what they are. I just thought they looked a little bit old, so I bought them. So I'm obviously going to be, yeah, they're made out of like a vinyl-y thing. This one looks like a traffic officer. He's got a bit of string on his head. This one again looks a little bit weathered, but he's got like a metal clip in his head to hang something on. And this one has, again, he's saluting. There's a newspaper here as well. German. Newspaper. Let me see if I can find out what these are quickly so we can learn together online. But yeah, it was a pound for those. I just thought they looked old and different, so BRB. So, <laughs> I think they're German. I still think he's a traffic officer because his arm's not on more of an angle. But he is supposed to hold, from what I can see, the newspaper from what's on from what I saw on the pictures I don't know I paid a pound I think my money's safe oh yeah these are the shorts Lyle and Scott three pounds fifty they are my size but not really my colour there's a nice little nice little bit of profit in those for sure I'm gonna list all this today I think depending on what I've got it's fun isn't it Oh yeah, Lego, a little bag of Lego, £1.25. There's a bunch of minifigures and stuff in there, so I thought for £1.25, we'll go through that and see what we got. Lego Friends, some normal Lego. We'll see. Oh yeah, £3 for a smart meter. Now I don't even need to research smart meters, I'll just buy them nine times out of ten, especially for this cheap. So should have a look and see who made it. I think I've sold this one before. Chameleon Technology 2021. I think I have. Pretty sure I have. Eon Smart Meter. I'm gonna put in 2021. Yeah, I think this is I think this is one that's been dished out with um Eon. I'll get about 15 quid back on that for three pounds. Lovely. £10 I paid for this Panasonic DVD player. It comes with a charger, even though it's not the original, it's actually a Sony. My 
thought process behind this was, this has sold for like 20 odd quid on bids before, but I think you can get up to like 30, 35 pound. It's got like a dynamic viewing screen. You can change it all around and stuff. Really quite a cool one. If I can replace that charger, I might be able to sell this charger on its own as well, because Sony battery packs and chargers normally get lost along the way for even decent items. So let's have a quick check and see if this battery, if this uh, AC holds any value. Jesus, written in German. No, Russian. AC M1208. AC M1208. WWD. So the actual power supply is four. It doesn't say it, but you can get about 14, 14 quid out of that. So that's the power supply for the BPD Blu-ray player. So it's a power supply for a Sony Blu-ray player, but either way, I'll pull it all together. Clip comes off. Beautiful, 10 pound paid, looking at about 30, 35 quid back on that. BT Xenon phones, a bundle there for three pound. Just giving it away. Another bundle of BT stuff for again, three pound. Just giving it away. This one says it needs batteries, two times rechargeable. Well, I'm very aware of that. So what I'm gonna do is break this bundle down. Oh, I used to always break bundles down. Now I just can't be asked, but this one here, pretty sure breaks down quite well. People still use this one quite a lot. So I'll break that one down. And that's what I picked up. So hopefully I can tie that into the video somehow with a little bit of editing geniusness. Okay, so find the video, which was this one, eBay's on the ropes, copy the link, add it into the YouTube link. And I think the comments were, what was it? If I was you, that was it. So I think we'll go for, oh my God, are you okay? Uh, if I was you, I would, if I, there we go then there's going to be no mistakes then. If, if you've put, if I were, whatever. If I continue, and the amount of comments are 117. That's quite a lot for one of these competitions. And the twiddly fingers are going to pick a winner. And the winner is, oh, I said twiddly fingers. What the hell? Pick a winner. Lucy's car boots out, Lou. If I were you, would buy yourself a trolley. She is going to be absolutely gassed at winning that. I love that. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. You have won the competition. I'll say to your contact links below, but you know how to get hold of me, Lucy. Lucy, massively congratulations to you, my girl. We're going to get this out to you as soon as we can. I look forward to seeing your reaction. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a big love to you all, but that couldn't have gone to a better person. Lucy, you won. Winner. <laughs> I'm just as gassed for you. Oh, dear.